Hello and welcome to Latex Weekly, episode 2nd December 2020. Latex Weekly is brought to you by Latex, your protection from tech ignorance. My name is Sean. News of the week. Apple moves some iPad and MacBook manufacturing to Vietnam. In a defense to move to protect its supply chain from America-China disputes, Apple has ordered Foxconn to move some of their iPad and MacBook production to Vietnam. On top of that, there has also been recent report that Malaysia is now producing some M1-powered Mac Minis as well. While the reign of Trump's America is coming to an end, nobody knows yet what will, what will be incoming. Um, what will the incoming president, Joe Biden, do uh, and bring to the negoti- negotiation table with China? Perhaps he will revert things back to pre-Trump status quo, but some analysts predict he now has a chance to strike a new and more balanced trade deal with China. More balanced means it has been quite in balance in the Obama days, and they want to try to set a more balanced one in which both sides will stand to gain something on an equal level. Either way, it seems like a good call to not put all the company's production in one region in case, let's say, if Biden reverts everything into status quo and China reopens again, everything is all hunky-dory. It's still nice to have your production scattered across uh, different parts of the region in case if something happens on one side, then at least you know that not 100% of your supply chain is disrupted. Surface Pro 8 and Laptop 4 images leaked. Well, they look exactly the same as the older older models. Microsoft isn't so much for um, coming up with refreshed outlooks all the time because the outlook is kind of like classy and timeless. Um, It will most likely be launched as early as Q1 of 2021. They will spot 11th generation Intel processors and XE graphics support. And there are also rumors that the Surface Pro will come with AMD options, which could likely be Microsoft's custom base, a custom chip based on Ryzen 4000 series. Microsoft has been making tweaks on OEM chips um, lately, which is nice, uh, with the Ryzen and the SQ range on the Surface Pro X. It appears to be one of the ways the company is positioning itself away from other hardware makers. Kind of like, I take what you have, but I tweak it to make it more efficient for my hardware devices instead of I just you know plug and play I put it take it as it is and then I do whatever I want like all the other hardware makers are doing it so this is probably why probably puts Microsoft in a position to charge a little bit of a premium on their devices maybe users can get a better experience using surface devices surface window devices rather than other window devices Apple fined 10 million euros by Italian watchdog. Last week, we reported that Apple was fined in the US for throttling phones. Today, it's another case in Italy for misleading claims about the waterproofing of iPhones. This goes back to 2017 on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus models. The Italian Competition Authority, or AGCM, said Apple was not clear enough about its water resistance claims. Apple said their phones were water resistant for up to 30 minutes at depths of up to 4 meters. But this actually only applied in certain conditions like controlled lab tests with pure water. The AGCM also criticized Apple for not covering water damage as part of their warranty despite making them water resistant. So the claim here, the problem here is not in the claim itself. I mean, a lot of phone makers make all these claims and The problem here is making a claim and then do not cover warranty um, for water damages. Uh, I do have friends who who experience this and they are not the type that, you know, 30 minutes at 4 meters, it is just like um, they 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 have a waterproof casing in which water went in because they went to a water park and it was just a little bit of, uh, water. There was not a lot of pressure pushing the the water in when it's submerged in in the in a lake or something, and then it got water damage. And Apple refused to to uh, to allow for warranty claims because Apple says that we don't our warranty does not cover water damage. Um, and what this Italian watchdog 
AGCM is saying that on one side, Apple is claiming they their devices are waterproof, but on the other side, they do not do it to the extent of claim um, of allowing warranty claims for water damage. So they're just saying it's just a marketing ploy. Yeah, which I'm not surprised given Apple. Zoom's revenue quadrupled again. They reported uh, $777.2 million in revenue during Q3 of this year, which was more than four times the, re the revenue of the same quarter in 2019. Zoom is expecting to quadruple in year-over-year -year revenue again this quarter, in quarter four of 2020 versus quarter three of 2020. Oh, sorry, versus quarter four of 2019. Despite the growing competition from other video conferencing tools like Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, and Slack, and the endless security and privacy issues, nothing seems to be stopping Zoom. I guess in this case, it does pay to be the first mover. Well, right? There is nothing cool about Zoom except for the fact that it's the first mover. Well, there is something cool about it. They have a very nice, they were the first one that always had the free tier. Uh, whereas Microsoft Teams and Google Meet kind of reacted. They initially, you can have Microsoft Teams, but you have to have, you can have the Microsoft Teams video call, but you have to have Microsoft Teams first, which is part of Office 365. So, so many hoops to jump, right? And Google Meet was initially part of their paid tier, whereas Zoom has 45 minutes, pay, no questions asked. So that was why people jumped onto Zoom and continued to use it. And it was a lot easier to use as well. Uh, the company, however, is preparing for higher than usual customer loss next year as people return to the in-person working environment once the vaccine has begun being employed globally. I think a lot of digital-centric, um, a lot of industries that have done well during COVID need to prepare for a dip once the vaccines are out. I think um, deliveries will drop. Um, video conferencing will drop and I guess um, food ordering will drop as well. This is just my estimate. You can now share you can now share screenshots from your switch to PC and phone. Imagine my horror when I realized that I could not I could only share my screenshots from my Nintendo switch to Facebook. If I were to take my, my screenshots from Nintendo Switch out to my PC or my phone, I have to actually pull out the USB device, plug it in somewhere and download it. I mean, it's 2020, right? And we can't even get these small things right. Then I thought, yeah, maybe Nintendo is, you know, it's, it's Nintendo's way is trying to keep with the classic and uh, old school appearance where functions are very limited. For those who also hated this non-feature, I'm happy to announce that we can now share screenshots to PC and phones. Yay! All you have to do now is scan a QR code from your phone and you're, you're able to transfer it from your phone. I don't know how it works on a PC though. I haven't tried it. I think you can connect to the PC using your USB device, which means that you still need a USB-C, A, USB-A, USB-C, sorry, USB-C to USB-A or USB-C or whatever peripherals your laptops are using um, to do the connection. So, update now to enjoy this awesomeness. There are no tech of the week this week, so um, we'll come back next week and see if there's something awesome to report. Latex Weekly is available in Anchor FM, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Spotify, Pocket Cast, Radio Public and more. Our full videos are available on YouTube and I post bits and clips on Instagram and Facebook. This is Latex Weekly episode 2nd December 2020. My name is Sean. Au revoir. Stay safe.